out of everything, this is the number one thing that the enemy is after you for in your life and your walk with God. Not just you, but every believer. It's not your calling. It's not your ministry. It's not the plans God has for you. It's not spreading the gospel. The number one thing that he attacks and wants to destroy is your relationship with the Lord. Now hear me out. Listen to this message because it's one of the most important messages you're ever going to hear. For unbelievers, the number one thing the enemy is trying to keep them from is knowing the Lord. It's knowing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because that's the only way to salvation. The reason why the number one thing for believers he's trying to attack is your relationship with God. The reason for that is because everything else flows out of that. So if he knows that he can get you stuck out of relationship and intimacy with the Lord, then he can hinder everything else that the Lord is trying to do in your life. Let me read you these verses. For unbelievers, John 14, 6, where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. That's why the enemy is trying to hinder, under, hinder unbelievers from knowing him as Lord and Savior. For believers, let me give you these verses. John 15, 5, Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches and whoever abides in him will bear much fruit. Whoever abides in him, because apart from him, you can do nothing. Whoever is in intimate, close relationship with him, who abides in him, only they can bear fruit. Matthew 6, 33, one of my favorite verses. But seek ye the kingdom first and God's righteousness above all else and everything else will be added to you. The Lord is saying that the kingdom of God and his righteousness is the number one thing that we should be seeking out in our life because everything else comes out of that. So if you are struggling with your relationship with the Lord, know that it's not just you. The enemy has a plan to hold you back. There are spirits that are trying to hinder your walk with the Lord, cause you to either walk away from him, get discouraged, or think thoughts about the Lord that are just untrue. Like he is an angry God. He is disappointed in you. He's frustrated with you. These things are not true. They're not true. The enemy lies to you, twists the personality of the Lord, and tries to make him out to be something that he's not, somebody that he's not so that you don't turn to the true living God, so that you don't run to him, because that's where everything else flows out of. If you put the Lord first in your intimate, private, secret place relationship with him, everything else falls into place, and that's a promise. But if you're struggling and striving to do everything else first, most likely the enemy has you right where he wants you to be. You can't be fruitful on your own and God does not want you to be. Turn to him today and make sure that you are connected to the vine.